Hello everyone, welcome to my channel WPF and uh, today I'm going to show you how to make window uh, uh, as a transparent window and uh, how to uh, give the colors like uh, gradient color to the window and uh, make uh, round corners. Okay, so window uh, we have some features in the uh, WPF because all these content are the custom, uh, custom content so just modified uh, the windows. So first of all, uh, allow transparency is true. So the window is making transparent and background is also transparent because I will uh, give to the color uh, like a gradient color. And uh, the next thing is the window style is none. So the minimize, maximize and the close button is uh, disappear. And uh, resize mode is no resize. So uh, there is no uh, resize options to uh, anybody uh, don't uh, resize this form. So uh, the next thing is the grid. This is the single layout in the window and we have in the grid we have a border like uh, corner radius is 10. So uh, the round corner, uh, the corner radius of the uh, border is making 10. Border dot uh, background uh, like the border background is a linear gradient uh, brush with uh, with the background so linear gradient uh, brush we uh, have some gradient stop so the color is the like gradient color so 7 b e and uh, 9 f 6 there is the color code hexadecimal in the format and the offset is 0, 0.0 so they're uh, they're looking like that so just copy that gradient stop and in the linear gradient brush so gradient stop and the next color is f so the mix up uh, with the two colors like f083 d a that's fine and now the offset is one uh, so uh, oops it's not uh, looking like gradient and the border background is this and the border background okay so now the set is offset is 1 instead of 0 0.1 so 1 is the offset so looking like the gradient like that so uh, how's the feel so uh, when we run your uh, window your uh, date picker control that is uh, in the code behind we have okay and here is your output so the windows corner is round in the round shape and window transparency is like that and here we go so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to wpf thank you very much for watching